Welcome back to another Steven Universe Theory. In this episode, we'll be asking the question, should Jims be able to dream? Now, we know Jims can dream. <laughs> oh, Rose, this is wonderful. I'm just having so much fun spending time with you, Rose. Forget about Greg. Let's go travel the galaxy. Pearl, thank you so much for fixing my van. Oh, <laughs> But would their geological structure actually allow them to? Now you may be asking, of all the theories, why this one? Why does this even matter? Well, I chose to talk about dreams because... I don't know, this has been bugging me for the past like week, and I thought I'd share it with y'all. And then, does this matter? Well, kinda, not really. It does give us some more details on Steven's mind powers, but we'll get to that a little later. Now, before we get started, I just want to say, sleep and dreams are very complicated, and we still don't entirely understand everything, so I'm going to be working with prevailing theories on the subject, and I'm going to try to cover a variety of different views. Also also, nothing is concrete and still open to observation and farther analysis. Now, if you don't know about sleep, let me explain. There are two types of sleep, REM sleep and NREM sleep, or no REM sleep. REM sleep stands for rapid eye movement, is a slightly lighter version of sleep, and it is during this time that we dream. Non-REM sleep, also known as deep sleep, is when brain activity slows and the body goes into a comatose esque state. Now, humans need non-REM sleep to live. Without it, you can suffer from panic attacks, paranoia, hallucination, dementia, and it eventually will result in death. But humans can survive without getting any REM sleep with little to no side effects. Now, the reason for this is because during non-REM sleep, it is believed that tissue repair increases, hormones change, and adenosine is recycled within the brain. Now, we know for a fact that gym Gyms don't need sleep in any capacity. Now you could say the reason for this is because gyms form a worker society and sleep would just be a waste of time and that they were manufactured this way. However, scientifically gyms don't need the benefits of sleep. Their bodies are made of light, which means they don't need to increase tissue growth and they don't have hormones. And because their minds are geologically based and not biologically based, they don't have any adenosine in their minds to begin with. Because of this, gyms are incapable of non-REM sleep, and if they can't get non-REM sleep, there's no reason they should be able to get REM sleep. Also, I'm going to be avoiding the Heaven's Lost Property analogy here, because while it technically works, I think it just ma make things more complicated in the long run, but it's not that simple. Sadly, there are people out there who are incapable of getting non-REM sleep, but are still able to get REM sleep. So theoretically, gyms can't get our non-REM sleep, but would still be capable of getting REM sleep. Now, let's just get to the big picture. Let's address dreams. Just remember, these are all theories and nothing is set in stone. Now, a dream is defined as a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that flow involuntarily through the brain. Dreams have no logical structure cause rapid shifts in emotion and the contents of dreams tend to vary with age. There are many theories when it comes to dreams. Psychoanalytical theory says that dreams are a form of wish fulfillment, but I'm just going to throw that, that idea out the window right now, and I only brought it up because if I didn't, I know somebody in the comments would. The information processing theory says that dreams help us sort out the day's events and consolidate memory. The psychological function theory says that REM sleep helps develop and preserve neural pathways. The Activation synthesis theory claims that REM sleep triggers random visual memories that our brain weave into stories. The cognitive development theory says that dreams reflect cognitive development, knowledge, and understanding. And then finally, the purposeless theory says that dreams have no purpose and are just the result of adaptations and advanced cognitive processing in sleep. So let's just take what we see in the show and apply these theories to it and see how everything stacks up. The information processing theory does explain why Pearl dreams, but it doesn't explain why her dreams are so outrageous, and it also doesn't explain how information can be in dreams that never happened. We can throw out the psychological functioning theory because Jim's minds are geologically based and don't have biological neural pathways. The activation synthesis theory also works and is probably the best explanation for what's going on. The cognitive 
cognitive development theory doesn't really work because gyms are never babies and, and never undergo any sort of cognitive development. And then lastly, we have the purposelessness theory, which conflicts with information presented in the show, but honestly, I think it works the best. Gyms don't need non-REM sleep, so I see no reason why they should be able to dream in the first place. But no matter what theory you personally believe in, this does at least confirm one thing. A gym's mind has high cognitive development and has complex cognitive processing. Now, this may seem very obvious, and it is but now we at least have scientific evidence that backs it up and that's important lastly i do want to talk about how everything we've talked about up to this point affects steven's mind manipulation powers because of the facts that gyms don't sleep i believe that rose had this mind manipulation power but she was able to manually control it but steven can only control it using his dreams because it's an adaptation for him being half human this also explains why when steven was in kiki's dreams he wasn't gaining any sleep while there because because of his cognitive processes were still active. Basically, it's akin to lucid dreaming because his cognitive processes were still active and he wasn't getting any deep sleep. So it's as if he basically didn't sleep for three or four days. Same thing applies for when he's taking control of Lars's body or when he was entering Malachite's mind. Now, before we end off here, I do want to say one last thing. The other reason I did this theory is because I'm trying to build up to something. Around two months ago, I asked you all which theory did you want to know? How to heal corrupted gems or what are gems? Now, y'all chose what are gyms, and of course, I still had plans to do how to heal corrupted gyms. And hopefully, y'all see where I'm going with this. This video and my what are gyms video both tie together to explain gyms both physically and mentally. So sometime within the next two weeks, I'm not going to promise anything next week because Halloween is coming up and I may be working on something. I'll be releasing my theory on corrupted gyms. Stay tuned.